hello and welcome back to the third video and this is going to be a relatively smaller video about purge so i have already introduced the idea of purge and now let's talk a bit about it so yeah let's consider the same ammonia plant into yeah the condenser condense it out and then you recycle it back this is the purge so yeah i'm calling this stream as three this is one and this is two so one thing uh, one very important thing is composition percentage wise composition of stream one is equal to stream two is equal to stream three this is one very important point the composition does not change as you purge out things it's going to be only an amount the comp the respective concentrations don't change with respect to each other and one general thing to do for solving a purge problem purge is one of the most important questions uh, from exam point of view so solve a bit of questions on your own so that you'll get a nice idea about it. so general method to solve purge problems is you take some variables here amount of uh, purge going out and some concentration of purge and yeah some amount going in and some concentration of purge here and whatever amount is going out so and then do material balances across all of them and so all the things yeah that is one thing but here you'll get a lot of equations and you'll have to do a lot of effort but what i like to do and i think that if it works for you it's great is to do this let's see you have some data about the uh, reactor okay and you have this condenser and this is going on so you just take a, whatever basis you have the 100 moles let's say and in which uh, one percent uh, inert is there so you have one mole inert and 100 moles of uh, other things uh, sorry 19 moles of other things and then from here you assume only one variable let's say you assume x to be concentration of a recycle stream coming back and some mm, alpha of uh, concentration of uh, inert so you will have 100 plus x moles of uh, water thing is going in and one mole plus x alpha of uh, uh, inert and then you take this and water data is given here then you take that data and keep on doing these things you just keep uh, track of how much is the amount of the other reactants or other products and how much is the inert concentration then you come back here and ultimately you'll come back at this point and here you'll have terms in terms of uh, you'll have the values in terms of x and alpha and then what are f of x comma alpha what are you get some function of x and alpha you equate it to x to be the amount of uh, to be concentration of uh, things and f uh, some g of x and alpha to be concentration of uh, the inert so solving this will be much much easier because you'll have only linear equation only two equation two variables otherwise you would have got a many equation many variables so yeah once you do the questions uh, and try this thing things will get easier otherwise you need to take all variables everywhere here there and then equate by material balances but if you take a point starting point go around the cycle and come back to the same starting point and equate things over there it's going to be much much easier yeah that's all about purge i just want to introduce two small terms which is called dry basis and wet basis yeah let's say you have o2 n2 and some water weight. okay so this is the general composition of air so yeah this is called dry air and then you add some water it becomes wet air so let's say that you have 21 moles of o2 for simplicity let's keep it 20 and let's say 80 moles of n2 and 10 moles of water vapor in a gas that is flowing in, in a gas mixture so when i say that what is the composition of air on a dry basis which means you completely ignore water completely ignore water and water remains you tell the composition of that so it's 20 percent o2 and 80 percent n2 that is one thing now when i say what is the uh, this is the dry basis dry basis composition and let's say i ask that what is the wet basis composition so you'll have 20 by 80 plus 20 sorry about that 80 plus 20 plus 10 which is 20 by 110 
into 100 water this amount comes percentage o2 in wet basis composition so yeah in on basically in dry basis you just ignore water water is there and wet basis you consider water water is there so that's about dry basis and wet basis and one last small term is whenever you do some combustion yeah so let's see a carbon you pass o2 and some co2 and if some surface there's some so2 things come out so whatever this product gases come out these are called flue gas or stack gas so yeah just small terms flue gas stack gas wet basis dry basis and the concept of purge and this idea and this composition thing which is equal so yeah that's all about it yeah um, maybe before ending i'd like to give you one small tip that you might be stuck in some questions of purge but in the end it's going to be very very simple it is just that whatever whatever uh, you just do material balance for that inert across this and this boundary so water inert is coming in assuming that no inert goes in product what well, is equal to the amount of inert coming out that's all generally the problem looks very complex but it's this one simple step and it's done and then there are cases of two inerts in that uh you just consider the two per streams whichever per stream has more flow rate is the per stream which you are considering that's about all about this video and i'll write that point and end this video two inerts get two purges independently means you assume one inert and other is not there and then uh you assume the other inert and first one is not there you get the per stream one is low flow rate one is high flow rate and then you select the one with high flow yeah that's all that's about this video thank you